Welcome to this tutorial. Today we will learn how to create this kind of animation in Blender. First we will open Blender. I'm using Blender 4.4 and the first thing we do is go to the extension tab and search for Typest. And now I install the Typest importer extension. If you haven't heard about Typest, it's a typesetting language very similar to LaTeX and you can um, enter code on the left side here and then you will get here on the right side this rendered result. Um, the first thing that we will note um, is that we have four new operators here, a line collection, a line object, create arc and follow path. I will come later to this, but let's first switch to the scripting tab. Here we will create a new script and I have um, a prepared snippet in, on how to uh, now import an equation. So I have alpha equals beta plus gamma, default position, and I have a name. When I now press run script, then I have a new object or a new collection with um, in total five objects. Let me delete the cube. And um, I can see, okay, here is for example the alpha. I can move it around. Um, I can also select multiple objects. And next I will go to the shading tab. So um, let me select object and we go to we go into rendered view. And here we can now change the emission material. I'm using an emission material because um, this is not affected by the scene light, so no matter what we do with our lights, these things will, sh will stay sharp. I can also um, just select one object and change the color of this one. And um, you can also see there's an attribute which is actually stored in the object itself. And I can go here to custom properties, opacity and change the opacity. If I want to change the opacity of multiple objects at once, I can select them press the option key and um, change the opacity accordingly. Okay, now let's delete everything. And now we want to come to animation. First, I will copy this line and paste it here. And now we want to move the gamma to this part of the equation. This plus can go and I will change this position and also this position will become minus 0 0.5 and I give it a new name. And now I have um, two equations and you can see in the z axis this one is positioned at zero and this one is positioned a bit lower and this will be very useful to have a reference for anima our animation. Okay, now we come to the new operators. I first select the first equal sign and now the second equal sign. And I say align collection. And now you can see all the objects of this first collections of this first collection are now aligned to this second collection. Let me press Ctrl Z and do it the other way around this time. So I first selected the second collection and now we have these two equal signs on top of each other. Okay, now I want to animate this upper part. So the first thing I do is I insert a keyframe. And now I want to move this alpha here. So I go to keyframe number 20, um, say a line object. Then I insert a keyframe here, and now we have our first part of the animation. The second part is that we want to remove the this plus sign here. So we go to custom properties, the opacity, set it to zero. Also insert a keyframe here, and this one is gone now as well. Now let's make a minus sign appear here. So for this, we don't have it in our first equation, so we duplicate this one, move it to the upper collection. Um, at item, I set the Z position to zero. 
and I insert a keyframe for the opacity and I insert a keyframe for the opacity here as well for zero. And now we also have the minus sign. The last part now is to animate this gamma here. And for this, we have another operator called create arc. When I press this one, I can see this arc here, which I can now fine tune. And you can see it starts at the Z position of the gamma, but it ends at this gamma, but at the Z position of this one here. So we have a, um, it moves in a plane. Okay, I create this arc and let me fine tune this parameter a bit. So for example, here, this handle can move a bit to this side, a bit down. And now we have a nice arc. Next, we want to animate this gamma along this path. And there's another operator for this. So we will go back to keyframe number one, say object. Oh, first, we have to select this one and then select the path object follow path and we will get this info. Okay, this um, constraint got added to the gamma. So it's now following this path for one second. But I want to have this one a bit shorter. So I will move this keyframe to number 20. And here we go. Now we don't need the second part of the equation anymore. So we can delete this one. And I will go to Z, I will add a camera, go to camera view, um, center this one here, go to render, render animation. And now we have our first animated equation in Blender. Maybe you want to use this one with a transparent background. If that's the case, we can go to um output no i think it's oh yeah it's a uh, render then film and uh, select transparent and if i now render this one again then it's rendering with a transparent background i'm using eevee as a background as a render engine but you can choose whatever you like and i hope you find this tutorial useful and see you in the next one bye